Hi, Floss Tube. Welcome back. This is our third episode, um, Stitching on the Go. Uh, my name is Luella, and I am so excited to be back here with you guys this week. Um, I do want to do a few shout outs this week. Um, I am super excited to be uh, part of the Floss Tube uh, community, and I am really enjoying finding new friends um, and new shows, new channels on um, on YouTube and uh, this is just exciting. I mean, for not knowing about this like, I don't know, four months ago, um, I'm, I'm super stoked. So I did want to do a few shout outs today um, just to show my appreciation and just uh, to um, but, you know, some of those that I'm working with, you know, watching and all of that. So I want to give out a shout to the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch with Priscilla and Chelsea. Um, very inspirational on your finishes. I just love them. And um, I want to do a shout out with Stitching with Jewels. Uh, she reminds me of one of my co-workers. Love watching uh, her shows. And, you know, I think I connect because I do the large projects that she, like, she does. Just different subjects. Um, also, shout out to Brenda from Handwork Maniac. Um, love the exquisite work that she's, the very detailed work that she does. Um, very inspired by all of, you know, the many pieces that I've seen. Um, that she's done. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Farm Girl um, Michelle. Um, I I love seeing what she's you know she works on. Um, I love hearing about her farm, um, and of course seeing her dogs, uh, her little fur babies, and um, shout out to Whistle Stop Stitcher with Jennifer. Oh, I just think it's just amazing. It would be awesome to have a retreat like she does. Um, I know it's for quilts and everything, but she was talking about doing stitching retreats down there too. And so I'm hoping she does go with through with that. I would love to do it. Um, I'm not sure I could swing it this year, but definitely would love to hopefully do it um, in the future. Um, New one I just found was Lost in Floss with Barb and Leanne, and um, I fell in love immediately. They're just amazing. Um, I like their work, and um, I don't know, just connected. Um, also, a shout out to Michelle with Bendy Stitcher. Um, I look forward to seeing hers too every week. Um, she's, you know, she's got a different approach to it. She's got, you know, like her books and her, you know, it's different stitching. But um, I just, I love seeing it and I love her personality. It's just very catchy. Um, so I did want to just do out the shout outs. Hi guys. And I love watching your shows. Um, If you guys have, like, if you're watching my show and you have a, a floss tube, please go and comment down below and I will, I'll take a look at your show and watch it. Um, because that's pretty much every day I come in and I see what new videos went up and I watch all the new videos, um, that have been uploaded that day and, you know, recently. And then after that, then I go back to the start and start watching, um, from the start and you know seeing everything that uh, kind of catching up with your life and um, what you stitched and all of that has just been very inspirational to me and um, very eye-opening uh, there's a lot of stuff that um, I did not know about uh, you know for being somebody I just usually worked out of magazines um, you know just went to Joann's uh, in Walmart because that's what we have around um, and so 
there is a really big world out there with cross stitch and I am just I'm just super excited about it and stoked um so uh I'll do some shout outs every week because I like um when I count up my the channels that I watch just right now it's like 55 so um and growing every day because like StitchCon um, watching the shows, then they're all sort of saying this name and that name and everything, and I'm trying to write them down and going on and seeing, you know, watching their channels and everything, trying to, um, see who's all out there, because it's not, it's not like they, like, list it. Um, so I'm really glad that, you know, Stitching with Jules, she actually has a, a blog, and she does have them all listed on there, so, um, that's been helpful. Um, to be able to see like a list of who it is, but it still takes time, um, you know, finding out which ones you know have the same uh, that you that you connect with, you, know, you click with. So, um, but yeah, if you have floss tube channel, write it down in the comments. I'll watch ya. And um, another thing uh, that I, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was the Instagram. Never in my life that I think I was ever going to have an Instagram account. And so when I started the YouTube thing, I, I made one. Um, so that I can connect with you guys on Instagram. Um, it is totally for my cross-stitch friends and my cross-stitch work and all of that. Um, so I'm excited to see everybody and I see people like following me every day. And, um, if you have a Instagram where you show your work and I'm not already following you, put it down below and I will, you know, I'll go check you out and, you know, start following. Um, I love seeing everybody's work. So that's, that's just awesome. Um, but as I am in the beginning stages of learning, I don't know everything about it. Um, it's you know, I'm a Facebook person and so I'm used to doing stuff on Facebook and there's stuff you can't do on Facebook, on Instagram that you can do on Facebook. So, um, like videos, uh, you know, like linking. Um, so I haven't figured that out. Um, my daughter said that she, I, she didn't think that I could link it. Um, so I'll have to do some other way of just announcing that I have a video up on Instagram somehow. So, this month is Jolly July, and I have been doing their challenge, you know, of a, an ornament a day. I think I've been doing excellent. In fact, I've actually, I'm actually ahead. So, I wanted to show you what I've gotten done this um, week. And, oh, before I do that, and now this is my second take on the video. And I got all the way through it and then looked over to the side and realized that I hadn't shown this piece, which I finished right before the, um, right before July. I was cram. <laughs> procrastinating cram. No, I wasn't procrastinating with this one. So this is my finish and it's fully finished. And, um, the frame is um just something i got from hobby lobby for like three dollars and 74 cents so um i'm using the magnets on it um i don't know if it's straight or not i'll have to look at it later and then this one is magnet also whoops well, the magnets are pretty strong, obviously. It pulled the glue off the washer. And then this one actually is a magnet also, um, as you can see. And I wasn't sure exactly how to do this, so I have like a little foam board. And then I put the magnet on there because I want to be able to change out for the seasons with this. Um, and this is one of the problems I had was when I did it in the Instagram picture I hadn't gotten it totally done because I had run out of glue 
and then I put the leaf on there, and then the leaf is showing on there. So, uh, now I'm going to have to like, totally fix it. Um, but, I did change out, um, it's called Charmed Americana, um, Hinzet, I think is the designer. I used a different red, I used a brighter red. This is not... can bring it in show you so um on the pattern they had a white uh design going up like a white border around the building up and over the buildings around and up and over and i didn't like it i mean we don't have white borders on houses you know normally so i filled it all in with the 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 color of the um, house or the church or whatever and the church was tan and of course tan wouldn't have shown up very well with the the um, tea dyed um, background so actually it's coffee dyed um, anyway I'm really pleased with it my husband really loves it and um, so it's finally done, ready to go up. We just have it sitting against something on a on a table right now. So, um, but I'm really excited about it. I just have to, obviously, get that washer back on <laughs> so it stays. But that's um, my finish, and it's fully finished. Um, and that ended the week, so uh, for or the month for June. So. What I did get done for this week is the uh, teapots. So I have six in all. One of them was already finished. Um, it was part of my mania, and these were my mania finished. So I have a mania finish plus an ornament a day um, on the teapots. This is the one that was done already. As you can see, I've already washed out the the, um, the red lines. Um, and I've, I've decided how I want to do these up. So I'm going to make these into pillows with a little uh, hanger on top. And there's six of them, so I'm going to find a six-pane window. Um, whether it's the glasses window that's in the craft section a Walmart or a go to like the Habitat for Humanity uh, the Restore um, that we have here and see if I can find a window there uh, because I have a lot of ornaments um, and making this many ornaments in the month of July um, I just don't have room on my tree and I'm not even sure that I have room for my tree in the house uh, we have a small apartment. It's a one-bedroom apartment. And so I even thought about putting it out on the patio. Not with my cross-stitch stuff on there, but with um, probably just lights and maybe I'll do an old-fashioned, you know, string popcorn and cranberries or something on it. And then the uh, thing. I can see the decorations from the, the window, but it won't be, like, taking up space in my my living room. So, I'm finally getting my craft section uh, sorted out. So I'm not sure I want to move it all. So, the other the other one ornaments that I got done this week is... Got a little bear. And a little cabin. Or house. It's a two-story house. Um, and then... That one had a... I gotta find him. I had started... The moose. So I'll have him finished by tonight. So that's exciting. I think that that would... I'm almost done with the third one, and there was ten in all. I'm not sure I'm going to do them all, but I think I'm only going to do seven of them. So I only have four left. So that's exciting. Um, and this was the one... This is the magazine I was getting it out of. So... Um, my husband likes the ones with the animals in it, and I like the houses. 
So those for sure are going to be done, but I'm not sure I'm going to do these three. Uh, and maybe not that one if I don't do these three. So one, two, three, four, five. So maybe six. I don't know. We'll see. I, don't, I know I only cut out fabric for seven of them. So well, that's not the only thing I got done. I um, had done these for a the Mania. Um, I had done summer and spring already. And then autumn I had started. But as I had told you, I think in the first one, um, I don't like pairs. And the pattern calls for pairs. And so I put beehives on there because there was bees on it. It just makes sense, right? Well, then I was looking at the patterns and realized summer has beehives. So had to frog it. And then I decided to put little apples. And I think they need their um, charms. These are the leaves. And... I added the charms and I started finishing. This is the summer with the little bees on it. They're kind of cute. And then this is a spring one with the dragonflies. This one's always likes to come backwards. I don't know. A little pink one up there. So, um, but and I'm not liking the, the foam board. It's too thick. It makes it too bulky. And I, I'm realizing that with finishing, um, you know, a lot of these projects that I had started on Ada, um, I really am looking forward to switching over to linen for most of mine because the finishing, I think, would be a lot more professional looking if I had Ada. So, but I am going to take these apart and um, hopefully and put and see about the sticky board I don't think it's as thick um, and try to get these a little bit better looking I, I'm not happy with them so if I'm not happy with it, it's not happening so and then I started and finished this one is the winter all it's missing is a snowflake the snowflake charms on there so um, I have those four done and they're gonna go on this little chalkboard easel and um, that's how they're going to get finished up. But I haven't gotten it done yet. Um, so I didn't have much haul this week. Um, the only thing that came in was um, I've already stashed it into a project bag. Look at these really cute project bags. I mean, that's not what they were intended for. I got them at Hobby Lobby, and they were clearance down, so I paid, like, $2 for them. And they've got the vinyl in the front and then um, the pocket up here. I think it was meant for using for the beach or something. And But I ended up getting, like, they had three of them. And I'm like, yeah, they work for, great for project bags. Because I am telling you, I... I want to get on the bandwagon for the project bags, and I have gone and gotten tons of fabric um, for them. Cute, lovely fabric, but I am struggling with it. I watched one tutorial, and um, so I cut it out like that, and it didn't look right. Um, I Probably a little bit too picky, but... I was struggling getting the vinyl in it and everything. Well, then, I, so I just kind of tossed it. Well, and I decided I was going to make a different kind of bag. Then I watched another tutorial, and I think this one was Jen's Crafts. Um, yeah, I know it's Jen, but I think it's called Jen's Crafts. Um, and she use less steps in that and um so i'm like i'm uh, i went back and i got you know cut out the vinyl again and i um got the pieces 
and I had, I got the zipper all done on it, and I was like, oh, we're going great, and then the vinyl soda, I went to go sew up the vinyl, and wouldn't you know, my needle broke, and I'm like, oh, this is just not happening, you know, it's just been one thing after another, and so, <laughs> um, I'm like, well, I gotta go to, hot, um, I was going to go to Lynn's and Madison um, a few weeks back, and I said, I'm going to go Hobby Lobby. I'll get some needles then. So once I got the needles, I got it in and everything. I uh, got the vinyl sewed up, and I'm like, it's not perfect, but it's doable, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll deal with it. Somehow, when I was trying, I was trying to do something to get everything, um, getting the binding put over top of it, um, I went to go put the zipper out just a little bit farther so I could work on it see and see if it was, you know, a little bit more closed up. And somehow it just slipped off the end. I mean, knowing me. <laughs> and I, I saw somebody, you actually tried to put one back on there and I tried and tried and tried. And I talked to my mom and she says, yeah, she's, she says she knows that other people do it but it's just not happening for us. So I'm going to have to put in a new zipper and then I can go back to it. But, you know, it's one of those things that I just have to put it aside and um, let it pick it up. So I just haven't picked it up yet. I will one day have project mix that I've made because I just think that they're so adorable. Um... And then after I've finished my fabric that I've got here, if I need extra ones, I just might just buy them from people off of Etsy because it's just a little bit simpler. <laughs> so, um, gives me more time to do my cross stitch. So, um, my haul for the week, it's not much. Um, I got the Harvest Chalk Full. And I'm really excited to start that. And threads. The ones that they um, recommend. So, you know, it's kind of nice on 123 on, um, Stitch. You know, you pick the pattern and you can just click on it and just, you don't even have to go find the threads. They're just all there. Um, and you can just add them to your cart. So I don't even know what I got. So I know these were too chalk. And I had this with before. Um, so now I have Queen Bee. Trail Dust. Deep Fennel. And Bean Sprout. I'm slowly but surely adding to my collection. But I'm telling you, this is just... Uh, you know, once I think I got something, uh, uh, you know, I think they'll just add more. <laughs> so I'm going to have to learn to when to say stop I think on that but that was my haul for the week um now last week I wasn't sure exactly what all I was going to do for my all my ornaments um I was going to do fall and different things like that and I still might do that um but I think I only have about half of the month that I had planned. So, um, I found a couple kits that I already had, and I think I might do those. And this is one of them. Um, I'm not, I don't want to do all the words. I just, I think I'm going to do each of these individually. And, um, my sister in law likes Barnes, and so, um, I think for her birthday, I might give them to her. And I'll do them individually. Um, so I can make them either into ornaments or little pillows or something for her. So that's my idea on that one. And then I've had this cute, 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 cute thing. So I don't know if I'll get all six of them done, but maybe I'll try doing one or so. Um, but I think they're adorable and shouldn't be too hard to do. So I thought maybe I'd add that in there. Another one that I found that I have, and I've thought about giving this one away, but I have decided that I just don't think I want to. Um, 
The thing that scares me on it is the 18 count. And I've decided that I'm just probably going to do it on my 14 count. Um, even though it's a kit, um, I can probably... Uh, I'll take a look before I start each one and, and that to make sure I have enough thread to do the whole thing. Otherwise, I'll change it out for the DMC that I have. Um, or another thing is, is that I have blue linen and I can do the it on blue linen and then I wouldn't have to do some of this background. But I love houses. I love the Victorian period. Um... I love buildings like this church and the different things. Um, and there's another reason that, I, I mean, I like the Victorian. And I think in the first video, um, I showed you that um, I was doing the Victorian market. And I want to have that one done this year. Well, it has a companion piece that um, I brought out to show you. And so I'll have two pieces of these Victorian things, and maybe I can do like this Victorian wall um, for Christmas time. But this is the one that I do have complete. Um, this came from a Cross Stitch Gold magazine, and I just, I love it with the carriage and um, the church and the little um, bridge and everything. So, I think that I really want to to add with those ornaments, and I'm not sure exactly what I'll make them into, but they'll go with that. Um, and I'm kind of excited to that. While I'm showing you I projects that I've done before, um, I brought out a couple more, and um, to show you because um, I kind of have them done, but not totally finished. This one I love. I did this one last year um, or the year before. I believe this is also a cross stitch gold um, pattern. And oh, they're my favorite flowers is tulips. And I just love seeing the tulips. Um, so I've done that. And um, they've done a lot of theirs with fabric and they sew it, um, a border on it, and then just have like. Um, hangers on it and you can put like a dowel through it or if you can get like a I know they used to have like you know those metal hangers so um I want to do something like that I think for that one because that one's bright and cheery and I know spring is done so I mean it's not on my big rush right now <laughs> what is on my big rush to get framed up is I gave this one to my daughter last year. And this is the fox. And it is an artisy design. I don't remember the artist's name, but artisy um, did the cross stitch pattern. It is so real looking. I absolutely love this. And I found a frame for it at Hobby Lobby for like twelve fifty. It was on 75% off. And, I mean, just look at it, just the detail, even in the grass, um, is just amazing. Um, so, and this one's like 16 by 20, that's how big this one is. So, her birthday is coming up, I think, next week, uh, the 23rd. So, I want to get this framed up for her and back to her. So, um, I was going to show it at, uh affair but honestly um yeah I'm kind of, kind of scared of judgment <laughs> and I you know I wonder why you know you know what's my reasoning putting it up there do I just want it to get like the gold star or whatever but um or first place what are you for you know um so I've just I decided not to, and I'm just gonna give give it back to her. Um, this come, well, whatever I see her next, I'll have it all framed for her. Um, 
Another thing that I do, um, I don't do just cross stitch. Um, my other big hobby is uh, crocheting. And I have crocheted lots of um, afghans and baby blankets and um, rugs. I did a rug. Um, it was like a mandal um, uh, mandala, mandalian. I don't know. I can't remember what it was. But that was awesome. But each single row was a different stitch. Um, each round was. But it was fun. It was exciting. Um, I did actually several of those. There's, it's a certain um, designer on Reverie. So, um, but my biggest thing is like tablecloths. I've done doilies. Um, all my siblings have the tablecloths. Um, one of my works in progress right now is a tablecloth for my mother. And it's, um, let's see, it's butterflies and something. So it almost looks like spider webs. <laughs> I don't know why. That's it. The design, the, the, the certain pattern that it makes to me, I, I always call them spider webs. Um, I don't know what their real name is. Um, but... Uh, and then my other project that I'm working on is a blanket for my niece's boy. I better get working on that one because I, there's another kid coming, um, another baby. So I've done one for each of the kids and each boy has, it's, it's blue and, and then, um, it's like a diagonally striped, uh, Afghan and it's blue and then each boy has a different color that matches it so one has red one is orange one is yellow one is green maybe I'm doing green right now I don't remember what the color is even um I'm pretty sure it's green so if there's another boy then I'm got I only got white and black left really um to go with that denim blue uh, so <laughs> um I put it in an order for a girl, but each time I've done that, you know, nobody gets me a girl. So, uh, so I got plenty of girl colors left, you know, but not any boy colors. <laughs> so anyway, um, I gotta get that done pretty soon. And it, it really doesn't take me very long if I go like concentrate on it. I could do it in a, you know, in a week or less. And it's I think it's over half done. I just have to get to it. Um. I've been cross-stitching too much. That's what it is. So, I did want to show you one. I found this while I was looking for the kits and everything. This is a valance uh, that I had done. It's a diamond pattern. And um, I just don't have anything to put it on. It's It was... I made it for one of my apartment doors. And it's, like, big enough for, like, the window that goes over... That's, like, in your door. So, it's not really big. And I have more. I just don't know where they are. I have more um, that I had done for the actual window. Um, and I don't know. Maybe I'll just give them to my mom because I don't have I don't have a window to, go it, I, to put it on. So. I have showed you everything I was going to show you today. Um, except I have one last story and a giveaway. Yay! So, I started, um, the tulip house, like I said I was going to do last week. And I said I was going to put it on that purple fabric. And, um, it just didn't happen. I started it and realized it's 16 count, and I can't see it, I didn't like the stitches on it. So I just, I, I think maybe I got 11 stitches in it and I said, no, this is not happening. So I counted the stitches. I'm like, sure enough, it's 16 count. It's not 14. Um, so I'm going to give away this fabric that I dyed because I won't ever use it. Um, it's just too small for me um, to see. Um, especially being dark, and it's a good size. Um, 
you can put a good uh, five by seven, you know, picture on here, or even a little bit larger. I think I had quite a bit of a border on that. So, um, and then the matching piece. Um, this was big enough for the small um, one, plus, you know, it's an odd shape um, piece. But I am going to give this away. Being I can't use it, might as well share it, right? And I'm going to, I will stick it, I'm going to try to get a good picture of it because the, it's not coming up. It is a really, I think it's a really pretty, pretty purple. Um, but it is not showing up very well in, um, with the video. So I'm going to take a picture of it and um, I'll stick it on Instagram. Uh, but to get this, um, we need, you need to be a subscriber like the video and then comment below and what I want you to comment is where you are from and what is your favorite summer activity and then if you want the fabric put purple so if you don't want the fabric you can comment I would like to, to still know where you're from and what your favorite activity is and then I'll do the random drawing um, for next week so uh, I'll probably I'll probably do this random right before. So you'll have all the way up until um, I haven't been getting home from work until like three after three thirty. So say noon on Sunday um, is the cutoff, and then I'll do the drawing and then um, tell you on. Um, my next video who won it and then I'll send it out to you um, so I hope you enjoy it I mean I wish it, it was you know bigger because I really love the color and I thought it would be really great for the chalkboard ones um, there's a little you know change on it a little variety so anyway um, I think that's all I have for today I look forward to um, reading your comments and um, seeing what uh, everybody's doing this summer, seeing where everybody is. And um, this week, I I have a big week coming up. So I am going to be at the fairgrounds all week long. Um, from Wednesday on. And um, my church is doing a, a booth. It's going to have free, uh, free blood pressure um, and a health age assessment. And then we have, you know, um, books and literature on both health and um, the Bible. And so um, if you're in the area, this is a Sauk County Fair in Wisconsin. So um, stop by. Um, Otherwise, I'll see you on Sunday. And it might be a little bit later because now that I remember that, I won't be done until 4. So let's put the time at 4 because I won't, I won't record before 4 o'clock. So anyway, um, I better get off. I've talked enough. So happy stitching. I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.